Hello guys, welcome back again. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd show you some of the few updates I've done to my base. Well, I suppose it's been about three weeks or so, so time for another one. And I have got an affinity bow, so I'm enjoying myself. I can fire as many arrows as I like. It's quite freaky seeing them come towards you, though. Anyway, enough silliness. Let's go along and have a look around. Oops, a few arrows scattered, arrows scattered around, but I dare say they'll disappear and despawn. In fact, they go in there. Cool. Anyway, um, for ages I've been riding up and down on my minecart elevator, and I've really enjoyed it. I like the thing. It's a bit like a um, roller coaster ride or something. Tame one, I admit, but I quite enjoyed doing it. But anyway, I've um, been wanting to build an elevator for a long time. Uh, slime block elevator like um, date listed in was it episode 37 and episode 38 of Minecraft Down Under. Quite impressed with his, the design he used in that. I take it it's his. But anyway, good thing. So that's precisely what I did. Before I go up there, I just um, made sort of an access here to get into the mine mine workings and everything. I mean, this is the back of my um, cobblestone silo and. That's one of my string farms, and you know, it's bits of the old mine shaft. But I actually covered up my access to do get back here when I um, built my potion machine. So I've just made a new one. So, so as you can see, I've ex extended the corridor. This is the old corridor. I've extended the corridor down and built um, a slime block, block elevator at the back here. Really, I've just put the sign there to remind myself how to use the thing just in case it slips your mind because I have died a couple times making this thing falling from a great height as you can see it's a fair way up but this elevator is going to come up in one of the towers of um, my castle quick way up anyway no more talking let's get it going it's exactly as Data built it in his um, MDU series and here we are and this brings me up to the floor level of my castle. I've thought about doing a drop tube to go back down, but I've already got one. Um, my original dropper that I built, well, built even before I built the castle, I used it as a quick, quick escape entrance back to my uh, downstairs base. And let's hold shift and we look over the edge. Yeah, there's my dropper down, down to where we were not not that long ago. But anyway, um, that was built long before the castle in fact it was just a hole in the floor and every time I got in trouble I ran down there to get away so that's what I've used to my time for I built this elevator I'm quite pleased with it really and I can go up another level to the battlements I had a bit more trouble setting this part of it up because um, the way I was taking the trigger sync signal for the extended piston to catch you was from the second set of pistons down well of course there's only one set there's only one piston here so it took a bit of figuring out and working out but I managed to do that by taking the signal from that one piston and um, well I'll show you it works but it uh, took a bit of doing so there we go so that's brought me up in into the top of the same tower on my castle I decided to cover up the uh, extended piston with a few of these furnaces just to make it look nicer really and also save me falling back down so you can see just see through the slime down to that piston now I'm up here in the dark again oh I can see a zumble get rid of him love, I love that infinity bow no creepers no creepers anyway I'll show you what else I've been working on. So I haven't just um, been building the elevator. Let's see if I can get the door, get through the door to get in. Anyway, this was a big white empty room, um, and I've turned it into my library and enchanting room. So I've put some few benches in, sit down and read with a bit of decoration. And uh, the reason I've moved my enchanting room up here is because since I've finished my um, gold farm and XP farm levels are no problem I can get levels upon level upon level so basically 
to use up those levels when I've been farming gold, I've been enchanting books. So I thought, where a better place to keep my enchanted books, because there are several and there are quite a few different ones, would be a library. That's why I chose to put the library in here. In fact, even now it doesn't look that full, does it? I'm thinking about um, putting some bookshelves up in the ceiling and light, and light them up and make sort of a ladder effect to go up there. But that'll come in another time. Basically what I've done is I'll keep my lap lapis or a lapis supply here and a supply of books. So every time I get a couple hundred levels from my XP farm or more, I'll come up and enchant a few books. It's great really because it's made uh, getting appropriate swords and picks and whatever I want quite easy. Because um, before you, know, you took your chance with your enchanting when you made an item. Now all I've done is I've enchanted books with the different enchantments. See I've got loot in and all sorts here. So if I need to make a loot and sword I'll come up and get the appropriate book. Make it sharpness, knockback, whatever. And um, enchant it on the anvil the way I, exactly how I want it. I've done the same with my armour as well. I mean I'll, I'll go there and show you. I mean I've got quite nice armour now. Um, exactly the same process just enchanted a book and then I put the enchants back on to the armor never been so rich in levels it's a real pleasure <laughs> it's made, make playing the game a lot easier see my sword is quite uh, kick backside now it's quite tough and it's really it's really useful for killing undead things and killing my cows and getting plenty of leather from them that sort of thing there's my lovely bow um, decent pickaxe fortune 3 efficiency 4 four maybe i'll make it efficiency five i don't know yet um decent axe again and a decent shovel but anyway um so in that that one i've got looting and smite that one is sharpness and knockback so basically I, I can tune the sword for whatever i want to do that one's bane of anthropods arthropods even and fire aspect i've got my unbreaking and efficiency books in here I mean, because I can combine them to get higher levels, whatever they, they can make us. I've hidden an anvil away in there to do just that, to combine them or, or add them to whatever piece of equipment I want it enchanted. So over here I've got fortune and silk touch. Not too much in here, I don't think. I've got a few, few fortunes and several silk touches. What have I got in there? Power in there for the bows. Feather falling for boots, quite important. Lure and luck of the sea in those. And what have we got over here? Blast projectile um, protection, fire protection, blast protection, all those different ones. Some of the water ones there, aquafinity, depth strider and respiration. Lots of different things. Lots of really useful things. Oh, and obviously I've decorated the room a little bit as well. What have I got in there? Protection. What would that be? Oh, those are just straight protection books. Oh, and there's some more bow enchants there. I've got flame, punch and infinity. There's flame. Got a couple of infinities there. And a punch. A few punches. So I'll make a super bow any time I want now, which is really useful. So I've still got this room upstairs, not really sure what to do with yet. But I dare say I'll think of something in time. Because originally I intended to put the library up here, but as you, as you can see from what I've done downstairs, there's no way I would have got everything in up here. So I have to think of something else for this room. So what else have I got to tell you? Um, but I've done the improvements on my castle obviously and messed around and got that um, slime block elevator working. I've done a little bit more decorating but nothing much. And as I say I had the devil's own job with that redstone. Hang on, where's my clock? I might need to go and sleep. To um, get the extended piston for the top of the tower. And I nearly gave up to be fair but I slept on it and worked it out and got there in the end. I'll put a few more suits of armour around because um, it just helps give the, the uh, room a scale really. 
because it's it's hard to tell when you're in there. It's quite a big room, but when if you if I scatter arm around this player size, obviously it gives a sort of scale to the place and makes it big. Thinking about some sort of decoration for the um, for this room, like making it a big dining hall or something, making a monster table all the way up through, surrounded by chairs, or make a Minecraft version of a rain table maybe, and surrounded by chairs. Follow the sort of Arthurian thing. Don't know about that yet. And well, obviously I put a few pictures and some um, parents' flags up. Not overly happy with my tables here, just because I've had to put them on wall blocks. Because you can't place them on carpet. But it's okay. If I think of a better way around it, well, we'll do just that. But uh, I'll give it some thought. But we've got my staircase and have a view from up here. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this room, I must admit. I'm glad to find a use for it. That was a bonus. Right, so where do we want to go down? Downstairs again. So I've got some plans for my um, storage room. I'm thinking that may be my next project. Now that I've completed the elevator. Actually, before I go down there... It is light. Oh no! Oh, you horrible thing! Oh, that wasn't ideal. Or planned. Bloomin' Creeper, what was you doing there? How oh, very annoying. How very dare you blow up my door. I don't like creepers. Let's see if we can repair the damage without too much fuss. No. No, we can repair it that easy, I don't think. Oh, well, I can repair that one, I think. So, we need the wood block back with a button on, and that should activate the dust below it. get in there. So what do I need for that one? More dust I would have said. For there. Yeah that would make sense. So do I need any half slabs? I can get away with cobblestone there. Oh god, let me mess with me now. Oh Scully, your days are numbered. All I wanted to do was feed me cows, not have all this hassle. And stop being so aggressive. Anyway, focus, let's feed the cows. I know I meant to do this the last time I was here. Keep the leather production going, especially now I'm enchanting so many books. There we go. Hungry, aren't we? That's right, you pump out those babies for me. Now, I'm, I see I'm toying with the idea of what to do for my next project. I would like a fishing dock. And I've got a nice pond behind the castle. But I would like a big item storage thing. Um, facility, similar to Data's. Yeah, see, I've got a lovely pond at the back there. I could make a nice fishing dock there, which I may very well do. Anyway. Focus on repairing this. Now, I need two stone bricks. What do I need? A stone slab for there. For that one. Now, why is there stone bricks here? Oh. Hmm. Oh, I see what I, I need to do. Yeah, I see what I need to do. So, no, I don't need stone bricks for there. I need another brick stairs. This should be right. Stone bricks for there, leather brick stairs, three wood and button and yeah, my bits and bobs. Well, I've broken some in them because they were both working just now. Hang on, must must have been that one I thought. What have I broken? I don't know, I may even have to... yeah, I see what I've done. Hmm. So why is that not joined up then? 
Uh, I need more redstone. Need a lot more of everything. I'll come back and do that off camera. If I oh, can get through my door now. That's because I put the button in the wrong place, isn't it? The button should go there. Never mind, I'm being distracted. Leave that alone. Where was I coming before I got so blown up? Just check to make sure I've got a few cows come in. Oh yes, of course, I was talking about my storage facility, wasn't I? Oh yeah, plenty of cows. Let them grow up. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some sort of automatic item storage facility. I mean, I've got two. I've got my first attempt and my second attempt down there working. Boink. Um, and I'll show them to you again. I mean, my first attempt was from my old Skelly XP farm, which was in here. Which works fine, it's okay. Practical enough. That was the old sort item sorter design, without the overflow protection that um, Data's using now. That was my first one. As I say, it works fine, and the capacity's still there. I can use it. And my second one is down here. And this, this one is um, plumbed into my mob farm. There we go. It's down here. And it's, a, you know, it's obviously it's a bit of an improvement on the last one. So I've got the, the indicator lights and the silos and everything. Still on the unprotected item sort, which is one water overflow. But I mean that could be changed without too much fuss. If I felt the need. So the plan is to build a new system. Something that I can access from upstairs. So when I go off the farm and different things. Just be putting a chest upstairs and it come down into the system. Something I can access from down here as well. So when I go off mining. And come back and just put it into the sorting system. I, in fact I'd like to join all my farms into it as well eventually. But I'm a bit bit squeezed for space really because um, this whole base is at level 15 but it doesn't give me a lot of depth really before I get to end of bedrock so I'm going to have to do a bit of thinking and a bit of working out but that's the plan anyway guys going forward I think I'll have one more play on my elevator because I enjoy it so much and it's like anything once you've built it you want to play with it to use it don't you Remember, stand close to the bar. There we go, cool. So nice to be secure and going up through. <laughs> Times have fallen down. Cool. Anyway guys, thanks for watching again. I hope you like the improvements I've done. Um, I'm going to go and get the bits and repair the hole in my door from my creeper visit. Cheers and go on then boys. Cheers.